Hey, amigos de TechCenter, estoy con David. David eh, es la persona que manejaba, eh, digamos, el, el programa más importante de SU. Y va a estar aquí hablándonos hoy de Exponential Innovation, de innovación, de cambio, de transformación. David, how are you? I am awesome. Thank you for asking. Thank you for coming to Colombia. Thank you for being here uh, mm -hmm. with us. I know we, your, your schedule is a little tight today, but I just wanted to ask you three questions. The first one would be, yeah. um, what would be the key takeaway that someone that comes to this event today in Colombia can take yeah. home yeah. Or, or to their or to their um, office in, in, in companies? Yeah. Um, I think there's probably a few. One is that the next 20 years will not be like the last 20 years. In other words, the amount of change that we experience in the last 20 years is probably going to be the amount of change we experience in the next like four or five. Exponential growth. Yeah. Um, which if most people I think might not get exponential growth, but really when you lay it out in terms of time, that's what it means. That's one thing. Two is that all of these areas are very new. And so anyone can get involved in them and they'll be ahead really quickly. It's not like getting into a field that's been around for 20, 30 years where when you go in, because you're sort of new, you're very disadvantaged. All of these fields are new. So, you have, so you have the same chance and the same advantage as anyone else who's in the field, more or less. Uh, yeah, in fact, in some ways, you have a better one because if you get in and you choose an exponential technology, you're going to be doubling in your price performance, even if you don't do anything. The field itself will just be we'll advancing at this great pace. Okay. Um, I think three, an important thing to understand is that automation and technology uh, actually create jobs. Okay. We despite, don't see that because it's so easy to count the jobs that go away. Yeah, despite all the, all and, the news yeah. that they will take jobs away. Yeah, and, and they do take jobs away, but they don't take anywhere near as many away as they create. Okay. And for the people who don't believe it, just come and look at, say, the U.S. government's website on the number of jobs that we've gained and lost. Yeah. The last hundred months in a row, we have never had a single month where we lost jobs. Not one month. And people say, well, it's not true in Europe. It's like, yes, if you look in Europe, the countries that are least automated, Italy, Spain, they'll have the highest unemployment, Greece, the countries that are most automated, you know, Germany, uh, they will have the lowest unemployment. Okay. And it's important to get because if you think that automation takes jobs away, you start like thinking you need less automation and then you have less jobs and so on. Yeah. Um, so that's the third one. The fourth one, I think, is some things that determine how successful we are in the future are human things. Okay. And they're very linear. Okay. And those aren't going to go away. Okay. Our ethics, our humanity, our Empathy. compassion, our courage, things that actually matter a lot with technology, but they're not technology. They're us. And we have to understand that that means we need to work on those too. Okay. Actually quite aggressively if they're to keep up with the pace of technology. Okay. So we are becoming more productive thanks to technology, but we should focus more on our human side and on how those skills and attitudes can make us better people for a better world. Yeah. Because, you know, we are, I believe, in fact, I, I remember hearing this, but I don't know who said it. But we are feeling machines that can also think. Oh, cool. Not thinking machines that okay, also, also feel. feel. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're feeling machines that also think, it means we're humans first. Okay. And so let technology come in and do the things that would make us less human. Okay. Let them do that so that we can actually be more human. Awesome. I think that's, a, that's an awesome conclusion. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. 